Chapter 10 Measurement Measurement of Length In the previous class, we have learned that small lengths are measured in centimeters or millimeters and large lengths or distances are measured in meters or kilometers. Let's quickly recollect the various units for length. Kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. An easy way to remember this is the following statement. King Harry died, mother didn't cry much. Remember, meter is the standard unit of length. Kilometer is the largest unit and millimeter is the smallest unit of length. Between two units, there is a jump of 10. Conversion Do you know how to convert a unit of length to another? Yes. While converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply. For example, convert 3 kilometers into meters. Solution. We have 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. Therefore, 3 kilometer is equal to 3 multiplied by 1000 meter is equal to 3000 meters. Now, convert 1.5 hectometers into decimeters. We have 1 hectometer is equal to 1000 decimeter. Therefore, 15 hectometer is equal to 15 into 1000 decimeter is equal to 15,000 decimeter. How can we convert a smaller unit into a larger unit? To convert a smaller unit into a larger unit, we divide. For example, convert 2 millimeters into centimeters. We have 1 millimeter is equal to 1 by 10 centimeter. Therefore, 2 millimeter is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 by 10 centimeter is equal to 2 by 10 centimeter is equal to 0 0.2 centimeter. Now, convert 7.5 centimeters into meters. We have 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meter. Therefore, 7.5 centimeter is equal to 7.5 multiplied by 1 upon 100 meter is equal to 7.5 by 100 meter is equal to 0 0.075 meter. Measurement of weight. We know that smaller things are measured in grams and heavier things are measured in kilograms. Let's quickly recollect the various units for length. Kilogram, hectogram, decagram, gram, decigram, centigram milligram. An easy way to remember this is the following statement. King Harry died, mother didn't cry much. Remember, gram is the standard unit of weight. Kilogram is the largest unit and milligram is the smallest unit of weight. Between two units, there is a jump of 10. Ma'am, what we do for converting a larger unit of weight into a smaller unit? While converting from a larger unit into a smaller unit, we multiply. For example, convert 2 gram into milligrams. We have 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligrams. Therefore, 2 gram is equal to 2 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 2000 milligrams. Now, convert 3 kilogram into gram. We have 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram. Therefore, 3.5 kg is equal to 3.5 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 3500 grams. Ma'am, what do we do for converting a smaller unit into a larger unit? While converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide. For example, convert 3 grams into hectograms. We have 1 gram is equal to 1 upon 100 hectogram. Therefore, 3 gram is equal to 3 multiplied by 1 by 100 is equal to 3 by 100 hectogram is equal to 0 0.03 hectogram. Now, convert 5.4 grams into kilograms. We have 1 gram is equal to 1 upon 1000 kilogram. Therefore, 5.4 gram is equal to 5.4 multiplied by 1 by 1000 is equal to 5.4 by 1000 kilogram is equal to 0 0.0054 kilogram. 
measurement of capacity now we will learn to measure capacity the standard unit for capacity is liter as in length and weight the various units for capacity are as follows kiloliter hectoliter decaliter liter deciliter centiliter milliliter an easy way to remember is the following statements king harry died mother didn't cry much liter is the standard unit of capacity kiloliters is the largest unit and milliliters is the smallest unit of capacity between two units there is a jump of 10 let's learn to convert one unit of capacity to another unit to convert from a larger unit to a smaller unit we multiply For example, convert 2.7 kL into liter. We have 1 kL is equal to 1000 liters. Therefore, 2.7 kL is equal to 2.7 multiplied by 1000 is equal to 2700 liters. Now, convert 17 liters into milliliters. We have 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Therefore, seventeen liters is equal to seventeen multiplied by one thousand is equal to seventeen thousand milliliters. To convert from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide. For example, convert nine liters into kiloliters. We have one liter is equal to one by one thousand kiloliters. Therefore, nine liters is equal to nine multiplied by one by one thousand is equal to nine by one thousand is equal to. 0.009 kiloliters now convert 7 milliliters into liters we have 1 milliliter is equal to 1 by 1000 liters therefore 7 milliliters is equal to 7 multiplied by 1 by 1000 is equal to 7 by 1000 is equal to 0.007 liters temperature till now we have learned about various types of measurement namely length weight and capacity now we will learn about the measurement of temperature all of us have some idea of hot things and cold things in winter we wear woolen clothes to keep ourselves warm whereas in summer we wear cotton clothes to keep ourselves cool at the same time it is difficult to know the exact level of hotness or coldness by touch because the sense of touch varies from person to person the level of hotness and coldness of an object is expressed by its temperature and the measuring instrument called the thermometer thermometer can have scales in degree fahrenheit and in degree celsius celsius scale also called centigrade scale is marked from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius 0 degree celsius shows the freezing point of water and 100 degree celsius shows the boiling point of water the fahrenheit scale is marked from 32 degree fahrenheit to 212 degree fahrenheit where 32 degree fahrenheit shows the freezing point of water and 212 degree fahrenheit shows boiling point of water conversion didi can we convert temperature in different units yes my little brother we can convert the temperature from degree celsius to degree fahrenheit by using the formula c is equal to bracket f minus 32 bracket close multiplied by 5 by 9 how to convert fahrenheit temperature degree into celsius temperature we can convert the temperature from degree fahrenheit into degree celsius by using the formula f is equal to bracket c multiplied by 9 by 5 bracket close plus 32 clinical thermometer a thermometer used for measuring the temperature of human body is called a clinical thermometer it is marked in degree centigrade or degree fahrenheit remember the temperature of a healthy human body is approximately 37 degree celsius or 98.6 degree fahrenheit water freezes at 0 degree celsius and boils at 100 degree celsius